Welcome to Maths 1, 2, 3. Here my given equation is 9x raised to power 4 minus 27x raised to power 3 plus 8x raised to power 2 minus 27x plus 9 equal to 0. If we see this equation very carefully, we will find out that the coefficient of the terms which are equal distance from the beginning and the end are equals. For and see the coefficient of x square and the constant term. This the coefficient are same here and similarly if i see the coefficient of x raised to power 3 and x they are also same they are 27 so these type of equations are known as reciprocal equation why do we call them reciprocal equations because when we change x to 1 upon x in these equations they won't change means they will remain same let's see how uh, instead of x i will take 1 upon x so this uh, will become 9 1 upon x raised to power 4 minus 27 1 upon x raised to power 3 plus 8 1 upon x square minus 27 uh, 1 upon x plus 9 is equal to 0 as I have changed x to 1 upon x. Now I will take the LCM whole equation. So this will be x raised to power 4. So first I will get here 9 then I will get 27 x plus 8x square I will get minus 27x raised to power 3 plus 9x raised to power 4 is equal to 0. Now we know that x raised to power 4 cannot be equal to 0. It means 9 minus 27x plus 8x square minus 27x raised to power 3 plus 9x raised to power 4 is equal to 0. Now I can write this equation in standard form as so this 9x raised to power will, raised to power 4 will come first and then negative 27x raised to power 3 after that plus 8x square then negative 27x plus 9 is equal to 0. If I see this equation then this equation is my original equation. So these type of equation where when we replace x to 1 upon x they won't change they are known as reciprocal equations. Now let's see how we can solve these type of the reciprocal equations step by step. The first step which I'm going to take step 1 divide this whole equation with x square. So we'll get 9 x raised to power 4 divided by x square minus 27 x raised to power 3 divided by x square plus 8 x square upon x square negative 27 x upon x square plus 9 x square is equal to 0. So this will become 9 x raised to power 4 minus 2 which is x square minus 27 this will become x raised to power 3 minus 2 which will be x plus this will get cancelled with this 8 negative 27 1 upon x plus 9 upon x square is equal to 0. So second step we have to rearrange all these terms. So first I will take this 9x square and plus 9 divided by x square together. So I can write this as 9 I can take common from this with x square plus 1 upon x square. So second I will take this negative 27x and negative 27 1 upon x together. So I, I can take this 27 out and inside I will be left with x plus 1 upon x and this 8 will come last. So next step is step 3 here I will take this let this x plus 1 upon x is equal to y. I can use this identity that x square plus 1 upon x square is equal to y square minus 2. So here I have used this identity a square plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square minus 2ab. In fourth step I will put all these values in the equation which I have got in step 2. I can write this as x uh, sorry 9 into y square minus 2 minus 27y plus 8 is equal to 0. So let me open this. I will multiply 
9 inside so this will look a 9 y square minus uh, now again 9 with 2 negative 18 minus 27 y plus 8 is equal to 0. So this will become 9 y square minus 27 y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now this is my quadratic equation. Now let's find the roots of this quadratic equation. I will use here midterm split method. So 9 into 10 is 90. So factors of 9 are 3 into 3 into 2 into 5. So if I rearrange, I will get that 15 into 2, 30 and 3. So I will take, I will split this negative 27 uh, with these two numbers. Like I can split this as uh, negative 30 y and 3y let's see i can put this here so 9y square minus plus 3y i'll take here and then negative 30y minus 10 is equal to 0 if i add these two i'll get negative 27 so i'll take these two terms together and these two terms together so from these two terms i can take 3 and y out and inside i will be left with 3y plus 1 and from these two terms i can take this minus out and 10 so inside i will be left with 3y plus 1 equals to 0 so here i will get two values of y so this is 3y plus 1 is common and this 3y minus 10 is equal to 0. So it means 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 or 3y minus 10 is equal to 0. So from here I will get y is equal to negative 1 by 3 and from here I will get y is equal to 10 by 3. We know we have taken that x plus 1 upon x is equal to y. So first I will put y is equal to negative 1 by 3 in this so I will get x plus 1 upon x is equal to negative 1 by 3. So I will solve this. I will get again I will get one quadratic equation x square plus 1 upon x minus 1 by 3. So I will cross multiply them that we know how to do. This will become 3x square plus 3 is equal to negative x so now i'll take this x to left hand side of my equation so this will become x 3x square plus x plus 3 is equal to 0 so now this is my quadratic equation so here i won't be able to solve this equation with the midterm split method so i'm going to use uh, that quadratic formula to solve this equation or to get the values of x now the standard quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. If I compare this standard equation with my uh, quadratic equation, then I will find that a is equal to 3, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 3. So, I will apply this formula that x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 a. Now, I will put all the values of a, b and c in this formula. So, I will get negative b is 1 plus minus square root of b. 1 square is 1 minus 4 a is 3 and c is 3 divided by 2 into a which is equal to 3. So, I will get here negative 1 plus minus 1 minus 36 divided by 6. So, this will become equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of negative 35 divided by 6. So, these are two values of x which I have got from my quadratic equation. Now, I will put the value of y is equal to 10 by 3 in this equation. So, I will get x plus 1 upon x is equal to 10 by 3. 3. Again, I will take LCM. So, I will get x square plus 1 divided by x is equal to 10 by 3. So, I, now I will cross multiply. I will get 3x square plus 3 is equal to 10x. Now, I will take this 
10x to left hand side of my equation so i'll get 3x square negative 10x plus 3 is equal to 0 now this is my quadratic equation and i'll be able to solve this quadratic equation with midterm split method if i multiply the coefficient of x square which is 3 with constant term which is 3 i'll get 9 now i have to rearrange this negative 10 so i can write this negative 10 as 9 and negative 1 so if i multi uh, multiply negative 9 with negative 1 i'll get 9 and if i add negative 9 and negative 1 i'll get negative 10 so now i can write this middle term 10x as so this will become 3x square negative 9x negative x plus 3 is equal to 0 now i'll take these two terms together and these two terms together so from these two terms i will get 3x common i'll take them take this out so inside i will be left with x minus 3 and from here i'll take negative out so here i'll i will be left with x minus 3 which is equal to 0 so so this will become 3x minus 1 into x minus 3 is equal to 0 so i can say that 3 i either 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0 so from this i'll get x is equal to 1 by 3 and from here i'll get x is equal to 3 so four values of given equation are negative 1 plus square root of negative 35 divided by 6 negative 1 negative square root of 35 divided by 6 3 and 1 by 3 if you like the video please give thumbs up do subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos and hit the bell icon for further notifications thank you